Hey guys, this is uh, chapter six, section one on observing chemical change. Um, we know some properties of matter, which are physical changes and chemical changes, and they can be observed, physical change can be observed without changing the substance into another substance, meaning we're just changing the temperature, color, hardness, texture, and shine. A chemical change describes uh, something's ability to change into another substance, like if we burn something, if something rusts, or if it tarnishes, and something new is created. We have different changes in matter, so again, we, have, we can have something undergo a physical and a chemical change. A marshmallow can be flattened out and just changing the shape of it, but then the chemical change would be if we toasted that marshmallow, the uh, sugars and other substances would cook or burn and produce this new color and new smell and a new substance. When we have the uh, properties of a chemical change, um, it's when bonds break and new bonds form. That's what creates new properties in a chemical change. Um, and that's why we create a, something, a new substance with new properties. I'll show you a quick video. <coughs> how to recognize when a physical reaction has taken place, but how can we know a chemical reaction has taken place? You can tell by the evidence. When a chemical reaction has taken place, one or more of the following events will occur. Bubbles of gas are released. Heat is released or absorbed. Light is given off. Precipitate is formed from the solution. A smell is produced. Or there is a change in color. And remember, the product of the reaction is always different than the original reactant. Bubbles of gas are formed when gas is released and rises to the top of the solution. For example, carbon dioxide gas is released when sodium bicarbonate is mixed with acetic acid, more commonly known as vinegar. Heat is released and light is given off when a reactant burns. As a result, chemical bonds are broken quickly and in large quantities. For example, paper being burned in the presence of oxygen produces heat and releases light. Heat can also be absorbed when chemical bonds are formed quickly and in large quantities. A precipitate is formed when two liquids are mixed together and a solid compound comes out of the solution. For example, when silver nitrate is mixed with sodium chloride, Black specks of silver chloride fall to the bottom of the container. A change in color occurs when two compounds react, and the resulting compound is different in color than the original compound. Color change indicators are used in many chemical reactions to indicate reaction completion. For example, when sulfuric acid is added to water and a field saline indicator, the solution turns from clear to pink. Smells can be given off when vapors are formed in a chemical reaction. One example of this occurs when iron filings are mixed with sulfur and then heated in the presence of oxygen. The product, sulfur dioxide, smells like rotten eggs. Another example is sour milk. The smell is produced because bacteria react with the milk to produce a vapor, which you can detect with your nose. The identity of the original substance changes due to a chemical reaction. For example, iron and oxygen combine to form rust, which is very different from either of the reactants. Okay, so that is a quick video on the evidence in chemical reactions. So evidence, like we said, are precipitates, color change, a formation of a gas. Those are some examples. And property changes in uh, matter don't always indicate a chemical change. So like water boiling, the gas bubbles are molecules of still water. There's still H2O even though it changes state of matter. Uh, the changes in energy, like a chemical reaction usually absorbs or releases heat energy. That's an endo or an exothermic reaction. You guys should know that. And um, they occur when bonds break and new bonds form. So breaking bonds requires energy and making a bond requires energy. And endothermic, remember, means energy is being absorbed or brought in. Exothermic means the energy is being released. 